Hey guys, it's Lauren here popping in today to share a layout with you for the Hip Kit Club. Now I am using the beautiful October kits full of punchy colour and gorgeous products and, you know, super exciting things. And I know that I've been getting some um, questions and some feedback on my backgrounds, my mixed media backgrounds. So this this process video, it's going to go for a little while, but I really wanted to talk out how I put my backgrounds together with you a little bit because I'm getting people asking lots of questions about them. Um, as you can see, when I'm going on a, like I'm sped up a little, it came, seems kind of messy and and um, a bit crazy, but there is a little bit of rhyme and reason to what I'm doing, which creates the look that I tend to get with my backgrounds that I'm enjoying at the moment. So I've been using the Lindy Stamp Gang products, and that is either the powders, or in this case here, it's a Starburst Praise that came in this month's colour kit. So I'm using the sprays though as I would the powders. The spray bottles come with just a powder sitting in the bottom of the the bottle and then you fill up fill up the bottle with water and give it a shake. Now I really with these sprays you need to definitely shake them each time before using them because the pigment settles in the bottom and when you turn it upside down you see this beautiful pigment and it's sitting there and you you definitely want that pigment throughout your you know what you know the project that you're going to use it on so give it a good shake and what I'd done then is just sort of pour a little bit into my tray and then I'm just using um, just my paintbrush there to create some splatters now as you can see what I do is I've got a bottle, a tub of water there. I'm using a paintbrush that has a really kind of, I'm, I'm holding it in my hand, so I'm touching it at the same time, not that you can see that. <laughs> um, it's a size, well, the one that I'm using here is a J Burroughs round size 10. Now, I don't know if that makes any, makes any sense because I'm definitely not a, artist expert but it is quite a thick little brush and it has quite a thick amount of bristles so what I do is I let the product sort of get soaked up into the brush into the fibers and then I sort of after applying clear gesso to my page because I'm going to add layers and layers I then just sort of roll out the 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 liquid onto the page and sort of let it move around. I don't paint the page. I'm not kind of controlling that. I'm just sort of, see how I'm holding it to the side? I'm just letting whatever liquid is in the brush roll kind of out onto the page. Now, I hope that makes sense. But if you can kind of see the way I hold my hand, um, I'm, I'm reassuring you that the paintbrush has just filled the fill the paintbrush up with liquid and I'm just rolling it on and adding some splatters. Now as you can see there's lots of different colors of pigment through. See how I'm holding it to the side there and then I'm just adding my splatters. Um, there's lots of different kind of pigment colors in there and now the reason that this product is really, I have a lot of fun with this product and using my heat gun because when I add a layer on and then dry it, the pigment kind of rolls to the edge of where the 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 watery kind of, you know, where, where the product has sort of rolled to. So the puddles sort of push to the edge and give that line, that darker line definition around that. Now, if I was to apply the product onto the page and then just add a different color on it would just turn into a big blendy mess so I really like that blend but that dimension if you can if if, if you're kind of getting my gist now I'm happy if you've got any questions about the background or anything just a private message me or put a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it but I really like I don't overthink this stuff I just do what makes what my heart feels happy what makes my heart happy that's all I do I just um, go with the flow so I'm never not using a particular technique that I've read anywhere or anything like that I just do 
I just go with the flow and I just make things and if I think it looks pretty well then that's the way it's going to be. But I've recently taught this technique in a class locally and I think some of the things that we were really, when teaching it and then seeing how people applied my information, I think I've sort of really narrowed down that you've got to really not force that paintbrush. You've got to let the liquid kind of roll out of the paintbrush and move around the page. And the key to getting that beautiful dimension and that product, the two, the different colors sitting on top of each other and not blending in is in the drying off between each color layer. Um, so they're, they're my couple of tips if you want to give this a go now this technique would work with anything it will work with Heidi swap products it would help work work with watered down kind of like really watered down acrylic paint it would work with the dilutions um, you may not get as much of that pigment sitting on the edge but it will work with those products the other thing that's really nice about the shimmers is if you spritz a little bit of water on like with your hand or a paintbrush or something like that and then dab it up with some paper towel or whatever product um, whatever towel you've got handy just dab that up that will pull the pigment off and give you kind of like some white splatters through there so it's going to take off some of that pigment so that's another way of adding a little bit more texture to your mixed media background so I hope that makes sense. Um, I want you to just give it a go. If you guys are subscribers to the Hip Kit Club Colour Kit, you would have oodles and oodles of the Lindy Stamp Gang magical sprays and powders at the moment. So there is no harm in just sort of having some fun, playing with some swatches. Don't don't overly like don't you can even just practice for the sake of practicing. Get out your art journal do a few pages with your art journal and just play with the product to get a, a style that you kind of really like. Um, I hope that makes sense. So as you can see, I've just been like cruising along here with the layout, um, but I really wanted to just chat out that background, which is like I get a lot of people kind of asking me some questions about that, which I love. And so I think just sort of refining you know, my general discussions about my background over these last few videos and I just sort of probably that would be my extra layer of tip on top of that. Um, so I hope that that makes sense. Once again, don't hesitate to put any feedback in the comments or private message me as some of you have done. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions and, um, and you know, help you get your mixed media mojo kind of flying there. I know it actually sounds really weird because I'm not, you know, it took me a while to grab hold of mixed media. I'm really blessed that I have some super creative, crafty friends that are brave and just jump into any new product and just give it a go. Um, and often I'm, you know, when I'm at a retreat, I might be sitting near them and they inspire me to just give something a go because I tend to be not the one that sort of steps out of the comfort zone too easily. <laughs> Um, so I hope that I'm doing that for you um, by watching this video and my other mixed media videos where you can really, you know, just get brave and have a go at it. I've got a playlist that I've tagged like a mixed media playlist on my channel. So if you're wanting to watch some other videos that I've done some mixed media scrapbooking with just to get that mojo going, there's a whole playlist there and this one will be included in that playlist as well so here I am now I've got this really like when I first saw this cut file I thought mm, I'm not too sure about this but what I realized is it's a beautiful layering cut file and especially when you've got a kit like this which is full of nature and florals and just fun fall kind of you know themed products um, having this sort of textured well, this leaf back clustered background um, really creates another layer of dimension for your layout and it creates a bit of texture, which is all in theme of our scrapbooking with mixed media. This is mixed media. It doesn't necessarily have to be about wet product. It can be about just incorporating different layers and textures throughout your scrapbooking to give sort of a holistic effect, a, like a, I'm not sure what the word is, but just it's like a cuddle giving scrap scrapbook like giving your 
photo a cuddle, like bringing it all together and um, having things closely, you know, tucked in together and things like that. I think this is the way that my mixed media scrapbooking sort of kind of flows there. Um, I This like this was crazy hair day for my little dolly. Um, so she has had recently cut all the hair off for and donated it um, for people who, you know, have lost their hair due to illness. Um, and so my gorgeous girl donated her long locks, 40 centimetres of long, thick locks to this charity that makes wigs. And um, so someone will be very lucky to have my gorgeous girl's hair. So Crazy Hair Day was not long after the big chop, so she thought it was a fun idea to wear a wig. Um, usually we wouldn't be able to get her hair up into any kind of wig um, just because of the sheer amount that she's had. So she's had fun going off with these hot pink locks. And, um, and yeah, this I snapped this cute photo on her way just, just as we were leaving to head off to school and so I thought it's definitely worth a crazy mixed media layout to highlight this little moment and also one that I know all this colour is one that she will delight in, which when I showed her, she did. She loved it and looked at it and um, had a look at all the little bits and pieces that I had taken my time to position around. Even things like this where you're just fussy cutting some ephemera. I just wanted that little butterfly dragonfly little element there just to look at that little bit of little bit of something on the layout um and yeah she picked that up and I think that's really cute so I've had lots of fun putting this together and she has delighted in that moment and um will do so in the future as she flicks through my albums she's just the the most special little dolly and I feel so blessed to call her my own so yeah, so here I am, I'm just playing around with all this wonderful ephemera, making a big mess on my desk and checking it all out as I go because sometimes when you get these kits, you look through it and you're thinking, oh my goodness, everything's just so amazing. But when you're sitting down doing a layout, I think that's where you get time to really soak up what's in the kit, um, which is lovely and that's what I'm doing here with this layout. Lots of little gems, chipboard, adhesive chipboard, um, cardstock stickers, little um, cut aparts like this, ephemera, some puffy alphabets. All these are exclusive to the Hip Kit Club this month and are all just so wow. Um, so yeah, so here I am. I'm just adding some, um, go, well, I'm going to be adding some journaling. But the other thing, like when I, the Hip Kit Club, this team, it puts out challenges and this challenge was to use mixed media, a cut file and a punched element and so I nearly forgot that but um, I used my sort of this country folky heart punch that I had there and I'm just getting them to stand off, stand up and sort of jump off the page a little bit and um, by so doing that I've added a white border um, actually, look at me here. That has gone right back. I must have edited that video incorrectly. I apologise. Hang in there while I catch up with this little bit. You must have thought, Lauren, what is going on with this video? So here I am back to placing out my ephemera. <laughs> I apologise. It has been quite a time for me here at the moment. We're fighting bushfires and people losing their homes and lots of tricky stuff happening on there and clearly it's muddled my brain. I haven't even got the title down yet. Oh my goodness. I I, I apologise. Hang in there with me. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a little bit, whilst I'm catching back up again, let's just have a little bit of a chat about the Hip Kit Club. If you haven't heard of the Hip Kit Club, it is a wonderful subscription-based scrapbooking kit service like a store. And each month we get a beautiful, beautiful kit full of gorgeous products. And they have a main kit, which includes um, papers, embellishments, usually an alphabet, 
um, and some ephemera and then you get your add-on kits which include the embellishment kit which are just packed full of extra embellishments to use that all coordinate with the main kit. We also have a colour kit that's also available which has mixed media products in it at the moment. We're getting lots of Lindy Stamp Gang um, products and in the past we've had beautiful months and months of Shimmers products. Um, and so you'll get this coordinating mixed media product in the colour kit. And sometimes that comes with the stencil, sometimes that comes with some die cut elements. We're getting exclusive stamp sets made up that perfectly match and coordinate with the products. Um, and then the other kit that you can get is a pocket life kit and that is um, really suited for our project lifers, our pocket life, pocket page scrapbookers. I get that as well because I find it perfect for adding extra embellishments and I love using the cards. I also do dabble in a bit of project life so those cards are perfect for that. And I also use it for layering up my photos. Um, the other beautiful thing about the Pocket Life kit is you get lots of smaller embellishments um, because um, it's they've created that in mind for our pocket pages, which are just those smaller pockets that they're working in. So sometimes if you're like me and like to add little intricate details around your page and just little tiny embellishments here and there, the Pocket Life kit is perfect for that because it has all those little tiny bits and bobs in there as opposed to the larger ephemera pieces um, we also have a cardstock kit which has cardstock that perfectly coordinates with the main kit and the papers in it and then you can also purchase an add-on cardstock pattern paper kit which replicates the pattern papers that are in the main kit so you'll have two of each and they're always double sided and the we Occasionally in that kit we get a specialty um, piece of paper which may be a vellum or a piece of acetate or a foil piece or something like that. So there's sometimes a little bonus that comes if you purchase the um, paper add-on kit as well. So sometimes the, um, you might be thinking, yeah, I'm just wanting the main kit, but other times when you've got some photos in mind or you just can't, you just love the kits, then you go all out and get them all which is what happens to me every month I think about it and I go oh do I need the project pocket life kit do I need the color kit this month and it always ends up being a yes this coming kit we've got in November there could be kits still available if you're interested is jam-packed for Christmas and we also have our December daily kit so I have ordered all those like I'm gonna have Christmas coming out my ears which I cannot wait um, I have hoped to do a December daily this year and in my theme I think I'm going to try and do a gratitude December daily where I capture and document um, what I'm grateful for each day. So that's my plan. So I'm hoping my kits arrive on time and we go from there. As you can see I've magically caught up. And I'm now at the end where I'm just adding some of the gorgeous Lindy Stamp Gang Spray um, Grab a Guy Gold um, just to finish off and add that bit of sparkle at the end. And I've added my journaling in there and my hearts. And yeah, and there I am finishing it off. I hope you guys have this layout's inspired you to have a go at mixed media, get creative, thinking about your cut files as sort of texture as well. Um, any questions, once again, leave leave me a comment. I Please don't hesitate to. I know that I'm really crazy busy at the moment and things are on my mind, but I will get back to you. And there's my gorgeous layout done. Okay, guys, uh, keep scrapping. Take care. Bye.